One of my favorite late night hobbies for as long as I can remember is going on YouTube and searching through the plethora of videos and trying to find the weirdest ones. In other words, going to the weird side of YouTube. Our first annual crackhead chugging What I typically do to get to the weird side of YouTube is put in a combination of random words into the search bar and then go as far back in the pages as you can. Fuck out of here. His head built like a Cinnabon. A trend you'll see is a lot of older videos are the most weird ones. That's usually where all the good stuff is. But the first video I have here isn't actually an old one, it's quite new. The two words I typed in was Roblox gay and I ended up finding an entire LGBT Roblox community so I decided to click on one of the videos and this was the first thing I saw. Oh my oh my I am a hot boy. I can't make this shit up. Remember all of the song parodies and whatnot? Some of them good, and a majority of them bad. This is an example of one of the bad ones. I'd come across Alvin and the Chipmunk remixes. The thing about these is, it's not actually Alvin and the Chipmunks, no. That would require effort to make them sound like that. Majority of these remixes, they will just take a song and make it high-pitched and call it Alvin and the Chipmunks. <laughs> But seriously, it's like there's an Alvin and the Chipmunk remix for every single song ever created. Usher, Genuine, Kid Rock, Jake Paul? Okay, okay, I think that is, that's enough. It just, it just doesn't stop. I, I seriously want to know, who created these? What made you think of this? And why did you think it would be good to upload this to YouTube? After seeing this, I went back to the search bar and I put in meat and I came across something called a meat cam. Now this guy quite literally live streams a bag of meat and nothing else. It's it's just a bag of meat. Now these don't really get any views at all, but ever since I watched the one, my recommended tab has been filled up with meat oriented videos. Now I'm just trying to understand of what mentality you would have to have in order to just think to yourself to stream raw meat. I kind of wish I was the one who came up with that idea. But when I said it's literally nothing but a bag of meat, I was not kidding. There's multiple of these, and actually, as I'm recording this, the channel that does these meat streams is actually currently live. We're gonna go ahead and check in and see how things are going. Yep. It's, uh, it's about what I expected. It's, it's meat. It looks absolutely disgusting. We're gonna go ahead and drop a like, because I actually like the idea of this channel, and I like where it's going. So while I was editing, I came across this video of a funeral for a fucking cockroach. I mean, it's got the candles, the casket, the sad music, and if you look close enough, you can see that they're actually taped to the ground. For all I know, this guy might just be running a funeral service for insects, or he's just insanely high, or he's a straight up psychopath. Now we're on to the final set of videos that I had come across, and these ones are actually quite disturbing. It might not be for the frail of heart. I somehow had come across a bunch of videos of people who would take dead animals and put them on drones and fly them around. Now, the first video I had come across actually isn't of an animal, it's a Barbie doll. I said a Barbie doll, but what I actually meant was a sex doll. They tied a sex doll to a drone and flew it around. The next video I'd come across is nothing short of absolute madness. I don't fully know the backstory of this video, but from what I read, this man's cat had died, so he decided to honor the cat. He made it into a drone, and I'm not fucking kidding. <laughs> What's the first thing that comes to your mind when your pet dies? Do you bury it? Do, do you cremate it? Or do you make a fucking drone out of it and fly it around this town? And there's plenty of other videos like this. For example, one where a guy made a rat drone, an ostrich drone. There's pretty much a drone of every animal you can think of. And if there's not, well, then it's up to you to make that drone happen. The weird side of YouTube is really a magical place. You kind of think to yourself when watching these videos, who made this? 
why did they ever think of making this and most importantly what does it mean and i think the beauty of most of these videos is they have no meaning it's up for your interpretation of the absolute madness you can find deep on youtube that's gonna do it for today thank you for watching peace that's my head is bent you dig uh -huh.